It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Wednesday, February the 13th, 2019. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral service for Marie Goforth Nani of Hobbs is scheduled for 2 o'clock Friday afternoon, February 15th at the First Baptist Church in Spring Lake with Jay Abernathy of Lubbock officiating. Burial will be in the Earth Memorial Cemetery. Marie died on Sunday, February the 10th in Hobbs. She was born June 7th, 1928 in Paducah, Texas to Roy Lee and Joe Lee Goss Trulock. Marie is survived by three sons, Weldon Killo and his wife, Marilyn, of Clovis, Billy Killo and his wife, Mickey, of Los Lunas, and John Killo of Monument, New Mexico. Three daughters, Joanne Bird and her husband, Red, of Monument, New Mexico, Donita Harkey and her husband, Ron, of Lubbock, and Terry Newton of Brownwood. One sister, Savannah McCamish of Muleshoe, and 19 grandchildren, 32 great-grandchildren, and six great-great-grandchildren. The family suggests memorials be sent to the Spring Lake Baptist Church, 213 U.S. Highway 70, Spring Lake, Texas, 79082, or to the hospice of your choice. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com on their website. And repeating funeral service for Marie Goforth, 90 of Hobbs, is scheduled for 2 o'clock Friday afternoon, February the 15th, at the First Baptist Church in Spring Lake, with Jay Abernathy of Lubbock officiating. Burial will be, follow in the Earth Memorial Cemetery. Marie died February the 10th on Sunday in Hobbs. Please keep the Go Forth family on your prayer list today. Well, the big belated Valentine's uh, dance for everyone of all ages at the Bailey County Senior Citizen Center will be this Friday at 319 South Main Street. That's Main and Avenue D here in Muleshoe featuring the Curry County Outlaws. They'll have great music, great food, and great fellowship. And they'll be giving away $300 worth of cash prizes. It's again Friday, February the 15th, beginning at 530 until the music stops, it's $7 per person, $10 per couple, and that gets you all the great food and uh, gets you um, put in for the $300 worth of cash prizes. For more information, you can call the Senior Center, 806-272-4969. That's the Bailey County Senior Citizens Belated Valentine's Dance will be Friday, February the 15th, beginning at 5.30 p.m. at 319 South Main Street here in Muleshoe. at $7 per person, $10 per couple, $300 worth of cash prizes to be given, given away, great music, great food, great fellowship, and they'll be featuring the Curry County Outlaws live in concert at the belated Valentine's Dance. Everyone of all ages is invited. Pictured on your screen and on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com, are uh, three FCCLA students or four FCCLA students from Muleshoe High School, Liliana Castro, Liza Q, Q Ariana Mendoza Platas, and Kyla Sierra. They recently qualified to compete in the state Life Smarts competition March 2nd through the 3rd in Austin, and students uh, the, these students completed online assessments and quizzes related to personal finance, health, safety, technology, the environment, and consumer rights and responsibilities. The students worked independently and used study material to, to become prepared. Only eight FCCLA teams from the state of Texas qualified to advance to the state competition in Austin. These students will be competing for the chance to compete at the National Life Smarts Competition in May, and their coach at Muleshoe High School is the family and consumer sciences teacher, Val McCamish. And so congratulations to them. You can see them pictured on uh, your screen now, along with the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. And again, they will compete in the FCCLA Life Smarts competition at the state level, March 2nd through 3rd, in Austin, so good luck to them. 
Make sure to watch on the front page of our website and available on our Facebook, Twitter feeds, and our YouTube channel. Our Monday evening Muleshoe City Council regular meeting for the month of February. At the first of that meeting, Liz Relsback was promoted to the dispatch manager by Muleshoe Police Chief Gary McCone, and she was giving given a certificate. You can see that along with all the other regular items on the agenda in Monday evening's Muleshoe City Council meeting available again free of charge on demand on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com on our both of our Facebook pages, Gil M and Channel 6 Muleshoe, our Twitter feed, and in our YouTube channel. You're invited to come and hear live in concert Jim and Melissa Brady at the Calvary Baptist Church this Sunday, February the 17th at 6 p.m. Uh, according to the pastor, Jeff Kaufman, everyone is welcome and the concert is free. He was telling me that Jim Brady uh, was part of the Booth Brothers, which is a really famous southern gospel group, and has now uh, married Melissa, and they have gone out on their own. That's Jim and Melissa Brady live in concert right here in Mule Shoot on Sunday, February the 17th at the Calvary Baptist Church at 6 p.m., the concert is free. You can call call for more information. Uh, the pastor, Jeff Kaufman, 806-272-4012 or 806-946-9099. Everyone is welcome to this Southern Gospel concert. A great thing that will be here in town next week at Ellis Funeral Home. They will be hosting the Remembering the Fallen of Texas on Monday, February the 18th. Noon until 5 p.m. and Tuesday, February the 19th, 8.30 a.m. till 3 p.m. It will be in the Ellis Funeral Home Chapel, 104 East Avenue F, right here in Muleshoe, Texas. This tribute is a traveling photographic war memorial that honors our country's military fallen from 9-11-2001 to the present day. Unlike brick-and-mortar memorials, Remembering Our Fallen includes military and personal photos and spotlights several soldiers here from the Muleshoe area. So make sure to mark that on your calendar and come out to Ellis Funeral Home in their chapel Monday, February the 18th, noon until 5 p.m. and Tuesday, February the 19th, 8.30 a.m. till 3 p.m. Remembering the Fallen of Texas will be right here in Milshew at the Ellis Funeral Home Chapel, 104 East Avenue F, a traveling photographic war memorial that honors our our Texas military fallen from the September 11th tragedy to the present day. And you can see some of what that memorial looks like on our TV screen. Um, on the Mule Train today, as well as our front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com, Monday and Tuesday at Ellis Funeral Home. It's time now for the weather forecast, brought to you today by K&K Pharmacy. K&K Pharmacy right here in Muleshoe at 1411 West American Boulevard, where Christine K or any of their helpful employees want to help you get rid of of your weekly pill box. Find out how k k Pharmacy can simplify your meds with the K-Pack Custom Medication Packaging Program. Available now at 1411 West American Boulevard. Call them 806-272-7511. K-Pack Custom Medication Packaging. Available now at k k Pharmacy where they can simplify your meds and get rid of your weekly pill box. Well, Monday morning, the Bailey County Commissioner's Court enacted a burn ban that went in effect immediately. And uh, later that day, on Monday, around 5.45 p.m., we had a 50-mile-per-hour max wind gust as we're getting extremely dry. And our winds are starting to pick up as we go through toward the end of this winter time. So far in 2019, we've only had six one-hundredths of an inch of rain about a month and a half into the year. That's six one-hundredths of an inch of rain. We're generally really drier than we ever are any other season during the winter time but this seems to be an extremely dry winter for the Muleshoe area. The high on Monday was 62, the low was 23. As we mentioned, the max wind gust was 50 miles per hour around 5.45 p.m. on Monday. Then much calmer and very nice on Tuesday. The high was 60, the low was 12. The 
Uh, Max Wingus was only 28 miles per hour around the same time at 5.28 p.m. on Tuesday. Looking at our forecast going forward for today on Wednesday, partly sunny, high near 67 degrees, southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, then partly cloudy tonight, low around 41, southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, mostly sunny, high near 72 degrees on Thursday for the Muleshoe area, windy conditions with a west wind 15 to 20 miles per hour increasing to 25 to 30 miles per hour in the afternoon hours winds could gust as high as 40 miles per hour on valentine's day on thursday thursday night mostly cloudy low around 44 west southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour decreasing in the evening hours Looking at the weather forecast for Friday for the Muleshoe area, mostly sunny, high near 71 degrees. Windy conditions again with the west wind, 15 to 20 miles per hour, increasing to 20 to 30 miles per hour. Later in the morning hours, wind could gust as high as 40 miles per hour, partly cloudy. Friday night, low around 37. Breezy conditions with a west wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Mostly sunny on Saturday, high near 63 degrees. Windy conditions with a west wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour, increasing to 20 to 30 miles per hour Saturday afternoon. Saturday night, mostly clear, low around 25. Breezy conditions again. Sunday, mostly sunny, high near 53 degrees. West-northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, becoming east-southeast Sunday afternoon. Partly cloudy Sunday night, low around 20 degrees. And repeating our forecast for today, on Wednesday, partly sunny, high near 67 degrees. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, partly cloudy. Tonight, low around 41. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. Mostly sunny on Thursday, high near 72. Then windy conditions during the day on Thursday. Thursday night, mostly cloudy, low around 44. Uh, windy conditions Thursday night. Friday, high near 71. Mostly sunny, windy conditions during the day on Friday. Friday night, partly cloudy, low around 37. Breezy conditions Friday night, and that continues on through the rest of the weekend. And as we mentioned at the top of the weather, that the Bailey County Commissioner's Court has enacted a burn ban for Bailey County as we're getting really windy here and extremely dry as we're only a month and a half into 2019 and we only have six one hundredths of an inch of rain so far during the year here in Muleshoe at the Muleshoe Mesonet Station. k k Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Well, we hate to report that the Lady Mules basketball season was ended on Monday night in the by-district round of playoffs at Plainview. They lost to a very powerful Idaloo basketball team, 63-29 to Monday night there in Plainview and by-district, and they finished their district season, uh, District 1-3A season 8-6, and six, and overall 17-15. and 15. So congratulations to the Lady Mules for making the playoffs. The Mules clobbered Friona on Tuesday night in Friona to end their uh, season of basketball. And uh, they uh, finished the district in fifth place just outside of making the playoff. They take the top four teams. And the Mules came in fifth place, six and eight, in District 1-3A. So both basketball seasons for the varsity boys and girls are now in the books. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Take control of your first bank of Mule Shoe debit card right from your smartphone with the My Mobile Money app. It's customizable card monitoring and controls that help you manage your accounts with My Mobile Money app. You can set interactive controls to help monitor activity and prevent unauthorized use. You can turn your card on or off, set alerts, and deny transactions based on merchant or transaction type and location. Monitor and control dependent cardholder usage. Receive notifications of possible fraudulent transactions and take action. Deposit checks through your phone. Download the My Mobile Money app now at the App Store or Google Play. For more information, you can also call the First Bank 
here in Neilshu, 806 272 4515, or go by 202 South First Street, the first bank right here in Neilshu, offering the My Mobile Money app. Available at the App Store or Google Play, call the first bank here in Neilshu, 806 272 4515, or go by 202 South First Street, the first bank member FDIC. Liao, pure yummy goodness. They have cheese, 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 and more cheese. Mexican food is tested to the limits once you get into Liao's. Come to 1010 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas to get the best Tex-Mex from around the world. Well, an update on the May 4th general elections. They've had five candidates sign up for a place on the ballot now for the city general election. Lupe Mendoza, the incumbent, has signed up for her seat in District 2. Juan Chavez has signed up along with the incumbent Colt Ellis for District 1. In the Muleshoe Independent School District in their Board of Trustee election, the incumbent Ashley Turnbow has signed up for one of the at-large positions. And in the Muleshoe Area Hospital District for their board, the incumbent Alan Smyre has signed up for District 2. So that leaves uh, District 5 in the MISD school board election that is currently held by Carol Precure. No one has signed up to run for that place. And then one at-large uh uh, board position uh, needs to be filled as well. And then on the Mule Area Hospital District Board, uh, place four currently held by Dana Rasco. No one has filed for that uh, election either. You can pick up a candidate packet now at City Hall, the city secretary office here on First Street. And the last day to get your um, to sign up to be on the ballot as a candidate is February the 15th. That's this Friday. The last day that an individual may register to vote in the general election is Thursday, April the 4th, and the general election date is May the 4th. Thanks to Zaina Carpenter, our city secretary, for getting us all that great information. Well, as we mentioned before, AW Broadband has announced that the current uh, analog cable service that Channel 6 has been on, Gillam Advertising, since 1980, will be shut down here in Muleshoe in our area on February the 28th. We are working with the Bailey County Senior Citizens along with the Harmon Elliott Senior Citizens Housing Complex and Parkview Nursing Care Center. We're going to put a computer and TV system in the Parkview in the West Sunroom where any of the residents can come in and watch at any time. Channel 6 as we'll keep the uh, content updated just like we do now on the cable we'll do it there in the sunroom on the west side of Parkview then in the community meeting room at the Harmon Elliott Senior Citizens Housing Complex and there in one of the corners at the Bailey County Senior Citizens Oneida Wagner Senior Center and those three things will be available free of charge and so you can continue to enjoy Channel 6 in the Senior Center Harmon Elliott or Parkview Nursing Care Center. Now, AW Broadband will be launching a streaming service that you do through an app on your smartphone or smart TV, and Channel 6 Gillam Advertising will not be a part of that package. If you know of a senior, a disabled person, or a shut-in of any age, who would enjoy a stew supper on Valentine's Day, um, please call us here at Channel 6, 806-272-3990, as the First United Methodist Church is doing their annual Soul Stew Supper this Thursday on Valentine's Day. These will be delivered uh, beginning around 4 o'clock on Valentine's Day by the members of the First United Methodist Church. And again, if you know of a senior citizen, a disabled person, or a shut-in of any age who would enjoy a soul stew supper call us here at channel 6 3990 the fourth grade 
will hold their annual patriotic music program. This year it's entitled Freedom at the Kerry Moore Auditorium at Muleshoe High School on Tuesday, March the 5th at 1.45 p.m. Everyone is invited to attend, says the music director at DeShazo, Susan White, and we will be there to film it as well. That's Tuesday, March the 5th at the Carrie Moore Auditorium, 1.45 p.m. Freedom, a patriotic music program put on by the fourth graders at DeShazo Elementary and directed by Susan White. Well, beginning Thursday, the Lady Mule softball team will be participating in the Cap Rock Tournament. That's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the end of this week. The regional vase competition will be in uh, action in Plainview on Saturday, and the West Texas Regional Championship for Robotics will be at Lubbock High School as well on Saturday. Uh, the powerlifting will be in a meet at Seagrave, so good luck to all of our Muleshoe High School students as they are competing through the weekend and various activities. Don't forget that Monday will be no school here in the Muleshoe Independent School District as it they will be out for President's Day on Monday. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Since 1925, AIM Bank is proud to be one of the largest locally owned and operated banks in West Texas. Our expert bankers have an in-depth understanding of the local economy, and we are proud to provide our customers with quick local loan decisions. At AIM Bank, we know that strong local partnerships are crucial for growth and success. Investing in you has been our focus from day one. We provide the latest in technology for your online and mobile banking with features like mobile check deposit. At AIM Bank, we care about your accounts as much as you do. So we pride ourselves on real personal attention because we are also your neighbor. We invite you to come in and experience the real personal attention AIM Bank has to offer. We want to know you because we live, work, and raise our families right here in Muleshoe, too. AIM Bank is committed to making a difference in the communities we serve. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Help us welcome to Muleshoe Dr. Kenneth Burke. Kenneth Burke DO is now practicing full time in the medical clinic of Muleshoe and is ready to see patients. For an appointment, call today 806 272 7544. Dr. Burke was born in De Leon, Texas, and went through Corpus Christi and Lubbock on his path to Muleshoe for his undergraduate training. And then in the U.S. Navy, he was responsible for mobilization and security of the medical and chaplain team. Shawnee, Georgia for medical school, and then Jersey City, New Jersey for his medical internship and family practice residency. Welcome to Muleshoe. Dr. Burke, he's purchased a home here and ready to make Muleshoe home again for an appointment call. The Medical Clinic of Muleshoe, 806-272-7544. Help us welcome Kenneth Burke, D.O., to Muleshoe. Well, Joe Moore of Denver City, the bride-elect of Braden Basir, was honored this past Saturday with a bridal shower in the home of Holly and Gary Hooten. Joe's parents are Heidi and Billy Joe Moore of Denver City, formerly of Muleshoe. They both worked in our school system. And Braden's parents are Cindy and Todd Basir, and his grandparents are Travis and Sue Basir, all of Muleshoe. The couple will be married on March the 10th at Horseshoe Knot Event Center in Lubbock. And so God blessings on uh, Braden and uh, Braden Basir and Joe Moore as they prepare to marry next month in Lubbock. And Joe was feted with a, a, a bridal shower this past weekend in the home of Holly and Gary Hooten. On your prayer list today, remember Carrie John Schuster, who's in Heart Hospital in Lubbock. Remember Ruby Green, who's now home from the hospital. Ted and Ruth Tucker need to be on your prayer list today. Earl Barons, who recently had knee replacement surgery and will have to have his other knee replaced in about six weeks. Keep Keith Kegley, the husband of Deanne Box Kegley, on your prayer list today. Ruby Ward, Charles Mayhew, Cheryl Morris, David Jenkins, Chris Bush, Sandy Chitwood's mother, 
Tom Jinks, who's been in Crown Point Rehab in Lubbock. Remember J.W. and Gloria Harrington, who's moved to Lubbock recently into assisted living. Remember Sally Ellis, Larry Combs, Leonardo Avilas, Marilyn Nichols, Buck and Lynn Campbell, Barbara Mae Black, uh, Blackman, Gene Allison, who's moved to San Antonio recently, Matthew Alicon, the MHS student fighting uh, cancer. Remember Wynn Cantwell, Robert and Maureen Hooten, Mary Nell Bleeker, Debbie Trider, and her mother Joy Costin, Marshall and Ann Head. Keep both of them on your prayer list today. Joe Phelps and Donald Phelps. Also remember Patricia Wilson and Kathy Wilson. Remember Nona Marlowe and Martha Joe Black on your prayer list today. Keep on your prayer list today Tammy Richards of Sudan. Remember those families that have recently lost a loved one. Remember the family of Marie Goforth, the family of Robert Breedlove, the family of Avelina Madrid, Tina Davis Rincones, Betty Harrison, the family of Joel Henderson, the family of... Roberto Antonio Salazar, the family of Jose Luis Ramirez, the family of Mike Hahn, Tommy Walker, also Hattie Ray Lambert's family, the Bill Benham family, the family of Glenn Watkins, Jeannie Bayless Field, Arminda Orozco, this family, all these families that have recently lost a loved one, please keep them on your prayer list today. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this Wednesday, February the 13th, 2019 edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Liao's Mexican Restaurant. You can find our latest Mule Train free of charge on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, from preaching to storytelling. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. The Sounds of Texas is brought to you here on AW Broadband Channel 6 and at MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They are celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They are owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at bcecoop.com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle. All hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Leo Copeland of Seminole started life in Oklahoma. The family moved to Arizona when Leo was three. He didn't have a gun until he was a teenager. My daddy told us that guns were not made to be pointed at people, and he wouldn't even allow us to point a cap gun at people. He didn't play sports. Couldn't walk and chew gun without stumbling. In Arizona, he learned to pick cotton. It was real hot one morning. The sun wasn't up yet, but I could see the thermometer, and it was 101 degrees at 5 o'clock in the morning. He went barefooted all summer, and the bottoms of his feet became like leather. When I'd get goat heads in my feet, I'd just drag my feet on the ground to get them out. Leo preached for 42 years, then, in 2002, applied at the Seminole Sentinel for a job. I could tell they were talking like they were going to hire me, I was thinking, so I said, uh, if you hire me, when will I go to work? They said, about 15 minutes. <laughs> what do you want to write about? I said, well, I have thought about uh, writing something called Echoes from the Past and interviewing elderly people who have moved here and getting their ideas. I started off with a pretty good start off. There was a lady, my wife run a beauty shop here, and there was a lady that came in every Friday to get her hair done and I was the janitor to clean up the building, so I visited with her and got acquainted with her. So I called her and asked her if I could interview her for a story for the paper. And she said, well, yeah, she didn't think she had much to say, but I got up here and interviewed her, and it turned out that she was the first woman sheriff of Gaines County. And that kept me going, I guess. And I think I have probably written more than 500 stories now. Got pictures of folks arriving in a covered wagon with their 
big old flop-eared mules pulling it, and the ladies with their bonnets on and their long dresses standing beside the wagon. Leo Copeland of Seminole has written one book and is working on another. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with The Sound of Texas.